Now in true sense, how that multiplication table is constructed, if we have to understand, then we should imagine water molecule properly. And if imagination, consideration changes, then the results will be different. Means sigma xj that I am considering as a molecular plane and sigma yj a plane perpendicular to the molecule. If somebody says sigma yz is a molecular plane, then results accordingly will change. So what is my convention that I am informing to you? I am assuming water molecule is bent, oxygen is upside and two hydrogens are there down. The z axis is passing through the oxygen around which we can perform rotation operation. That's our C2 axis. So 180 degree rotation. Hydrogen 1 can come to position of hydrogen 2. Further 90 degree, hydrogen 2 will come to the position of hydrogen 1. I am considering molecular plane as a XZ plane. So X axis to left right. And YZ plane, a plane perpendicular to the molecule. So Y axis towards you and towards me, approaching towards us. Then let us apply one operation, then other operation. Then let us ask the question how the result we can obtain from the original. And likewise, we can establish the multiplication table. Multiplication table for C2 point group is easy. But for C3V and higher level, it will be somewhat tough. But basics should be clear to you. Therefore, a special video for C2V multiplication table is here. Let us see how is that multiplication table. Already in previous part, I had a discussion about the establishment of C2 into Sigma XZ and C2 into Sigma YZ. Now I want to emphasize on the multiplication of sigma xz into C2. It's our water molecule. Hydrogen 1 is to the left side and the nose which is on the oxygen is pointing towards us. And on this molecule, I want to perform sigma xz operation. What do you think? If I perform sigma xz operation, what will happen? Sigma xz is a reflection operation and xz means is a molecular plane. So if I reflect the molecule, through xz plane then hydrogen 1 will remain to left side or will go to right side yes it will remain to left side only and what about nose nose now is pointing towards us after reflection through xz plane the nose will go away from us let us see the result yes as we thought the structure is here now on this resultant structure i want to perform next operation what is the next operation that's a C2 operation. What will be the change in the structure now? C2 means rotation by 180 degree. And what is our axis? The axis is passing through the oxygen and bisecting the line joining of two hydrogens. Now hydrogen 2 is to left side. After rotation, what will happen? Hydrogen 2 will come to the right side. And what about the nose? Now the nose is not pointing towards us. It is away from us. After rotation, it will come towards us. Yes, let us see the result. Yes, as we thought, hydrogen 1 went to right side and nose is pointing towards us. Now we have to think how to obtain resultant structure from original structure. In original structure, hydrogen 1 is to left side and in resultant structure, hydrogen 1 is to right side. In original structure, nose is pointing towards us and in resultant structure, nose still is towards us. What do you think? which operation can bring us that change right sigma yz a plane perpendicular to the water molecule can bring us that desired change if i reflect through the sigma yz plane then hydrogen one will go to right side and nose will remain towards us so what can i say c2 into sigma xz is equal to sigma yz it's a derivation of the position in the multiplication table let us see are the things the same in the multiplication table or not yes same result we are getting after multiplication the result is sigma yz now I want to focus on the other multiplication sigma xz into sigma yz. Let us begin. Again it's a beautiful water molecule. Hydrogen 1 is to left side and oxygen which has nose which is pointing towards us. Now on this molecule I have to perform the first operation that's a sigma xz operation. 
what do you think what will be the change sigma x z is our molecular plane so after reflection through a molecular plane h1 will remain to left side only and what about the nose nose which is pointing towards us will go away from us let us see the change in the structure after a sigma xz operation yes our workout is very right now on this resultant structure i want to perform next operation that's a sigma yz operation sigma yz means it is a plane perpendicular to the molecule if i perform the reflection operation through that plane then hydrogen one which is to the left side will go to right side and what about the nose which is not towards us will it come towards us no it will remain away from us only let us see the resultant structure after a sigma yz operation yes now hydrogen one is to right side and the nose is away from us now what we have to think how can we result this final structure from original structure in original structure hydrogen one is to left side and in final structure it is to right side in original structure nose is pointing towards us and in final structure nose is away from us what do you think which operation can bring us that change yes if we perform c2 operation on original structure then desired change is possible c2 operation means rotation by 180 degree because of that hydrogens will change the position and nose if remains towards us will go away from us so what can i say now sigma xz into sigma yz is equal to c2 that's a derivation of that cell in the multiplication table let us see what our multiplication says for that multiplication we are absolutely right sigma xz into sigma yz is c2 now students i want to pay attention towards the last row and two elements only are left out of that the first element sigma yz into c2 now we are finding answer is sigma xz let us derive it Again, our important water molecule hydrogen one is to left side and the nose of the oxygen is pointing towards us. I want to perform reflection through a plane perpendicular to the molecule that's a sigma yz. What do you think after reflection positions of hydrogen will change or not? Yes, it will change. And what about the nose? Nose which is now towards us will remain towards us or will go away from us yes will remain towards us let us see the result yes as per our expectation logic one means position of hydrogens it is changed and logic two position of nose it was towards us and now also it is towards us so this is a structure resulted due to sigma yz operation now on this resulted structure i want to perform c2 operation c2 operation means it is a rotation around the axis which is passing through the oxygen and bisecting the angle between the hydrogens rotation by 180 degree we have to answer two questions number one positions of hydrogen number two position of nose what do you think after rotation through c2 position of hydrogens will change yes hydrogen 2 is to left side will go to right side and what about the nose nose is pointing towards us will go away from us let us see the result yes as was expected position of hydrogens and the position of nose is there now we have to ask the question whatever the resultant structure is there how can we obtain that resultant structure from original structure what do you think how can we get that which operation shall i perform on the original structure total four operations were with identity we are not going to consider because it will not make any change but here changes are in the structure sigma yz already we considered c2 already we have considered so logically we can think answer should be sigma xz but here in spite of logical thinking practically we have to work practically we have to apply the concept what has happened here what is the difference in the two structures in original structure hydrogen one is to left side and in resultant structure also hydrogen is to one side in original structure nose is pointing towards us but in final structure nose is away from us yes this resultant structure we can obtain from the original structure by performing sigma xz operation what does it mean sigma yz into c2 is equal to sigma xz that is one of the position in the multiplication table we have derived but let us see what is there actually in the multiplication table brilliantly we are getting the same answer sigma yz into c2 is equal to sigma xz now the last position i want to describe 
that's a sigma yz into sigma xz our water molecule as usual hydrogen one is to left side and the nose of the oxygen is pointing towards us let us perform sigma yz operation on the molecule sigma yz is a plane perpendicular to the molecule so position of hydrogens will change or not yes it will change position of nose will remain towards us or not it will remain towards us only there will not be change in the position of the nose let us see the result yes brilliantly two questions we have asked during the change number one position of hydrogen and other that's the position of nose hydrogens have changed the position nose has not changed now we have to perform the last operation on this resultant structure that's a sigma xz of after performing sigma xz operation means reflection through a molecular plane position of hydrogen will change or not it will not change position of nose now it is towards us will remain towards us or will away from us will go away from us so see the resultant structure how can we get this resultant structure from the original structure original structure hydrogen one is to left side in resultant structure it is to right side in original structure nose is towards us and in resultant structure nose is away from us which operation can bring this change right it's a c2 operation rotation around the z axis so what i can conclude sigma yz into sigma xz is equal to c2 this is derivation from our pictorial presentations now let us verify in our period table whether the same results are there or absolutely we are right sigma yz into sigma xz is equal to c2 c students now important which of the positions are there those we have explained each and every position in the multiplication table can be explained by means of these pictorial presentations i hope the concept of application of pictorial presentations is clear to you separate two videos are prepared for this derivation of multiplication table now it's a time of homework work out to find multiplication between sigma xz and sigma xz pictorial presentations are shown to you you have to work to find the answer answer is known to us but working to find the answer is important and write that answer in the comment box yes here discussion about the multiplication table of c2v point group is over in next time let us discuss the multiplication table for c3v point groups and its derivation